Are you ready for a road trip? Luna, come on. Luna, come on, baby. And we're off. Eric is driving. We have Miss Luna hanging out in the back. We are driving from Dallas to Galveston, Texas. It's about four and a half hours. I was the one to take a look. I remember how it started. To realize what my surprise. Strange motions like a ship. I would like three of the ground beef tacos with a soft shell. And then can I please have four of the naked steak fajita tacos in a crunchy shell? Thank you. We just stopped at Taco Cabana for dinner. Got beef tacos and I got some steak tacos. I'm so hungry. Mm-hmm. And go Luna. We got her dog food. Luna we'll got to go to. pee is what she got to. <laughs> I bet Luna wants to eat a taco, huh? She's like, yes, I do. As of right now, we only have about a 45 minute drive until we get to Galveston. What do you think, Luna? This place is awesome. We just got to our Airbnb, it's beautiful. I am like obsessed with this kitchen. I think it is so nice. And I love how the stove, what is that called? It's like the nice. Gas burner. It's a gas burning stove. We have some couches and a big TV. Cute little bathroom. Here. This is my favorite room in the house right now. I love the details to it. It's another bedroom in here. And then towards the front of the house, there's this really nice hallway with all this beautiful artwork on the sides. I love just how beach themed this whole Airbnb is. We felt bad that the whole house is hard floor. So we set up this little makeshift bed on the floor for Luna, which honestly she probably won't even sleep on because she likes sleeping on the cold tile back home. But I wanted to give her the option so that she could probably be more comfortable tonight. morning everyone right now I am just eating my breakfast I have some oatmeal and then I'm going to get ready for the day we have some really fun things planned Luna do you want to show everyone the backyard come on let's go it is a very windy day out today difficult to see last night because it was so dark, but the front of the house is really cute too. I need to get some work done on my computer, just some YouTube stuff and some other things, and then we're going to go out and explore. One of the things other than YouTube that I'm working on right now is I am learning Spanish. It's always been one of my New Year's resolutions every single year to pick up on my Spanish and I always just put it off because it seems really boring. But I really like how on Rosetta Stone they take more of a natural approach and it's more of an immersion where it's like connecting pictures to words and the sounds as opposed to just studying from a textbook. One of the reasons why I'm really passionate about learning Spanish specifically is because I have a lot of family ties to the language. My mom was a foreign exchange student in Peru and my dad actually grew up in South America. He lived in Quito, Ecuador, and Santiago, Chile. When I had a layover in Lima, Peru, I think it was about two years ago, I was able to meet my mom's host family and I just remember being frustrated with myself that I couldn't speak the language. I couldn't properly communicate with the people of that country. 
Eric speaks French. Eventually when we can start traveling through Europe, he'll be able to translate when we go there and then I want to be able to translate when we travel through Mexico and South America. What I think is really awesome about Rosetta Stone is they have so many different languages that you can learn from. What I think makes this program really worth the money is it has speech recognition software. El hombre corre. El hombre corre. Corre means to run. So if I wanted to say Luna runs, I would say La Luna corre. You can really learn from anywhere from your phone, tablet, or a computer. Rosetta Stone also has a new subscription that will give you access to all 24 of the languages they offer for life. If you are interested in learning a new language, make sure that you click the link in my description box below for discounts on all of Rosetta Stone's subscriptions. Through my link, you will also have access to Rosetta Stone Lifetime for only $199, which for a program where you can learn as many languages as you want and continue having that access for life, that is a really great price. I am so excited to continue learning Spanish and I'll make sure to keep you all updated on my progress, but I think I'm gonna go get Eric now and we're gonna head to the store to get some stuff to cook later. I'm all done. Just got back from the grocery store. We got some awesome stuff for this weekend. Eric and I love this Lipton iced peach tea. And we also got a bunch of these pasta sauces. Mazetta is one of my favorite brands. So we have a bunch that we're gonna be able to bring home with us. I've been really craving these grapes. Of course, we had to get some dessert. <laughs> and for fruit, I also got us some apples. We have butter for toast in the morning. This is the best coffee I've ever had. Seriously, way better than Starbucks. Some popcorn just as a snack. We're gonna have chicken Caesar salad for lunch. So we have the Caesar salad kit here. Chicken right here. We'll probably make steak tacos at some point over the weekend and bacon. And then these are the corn tortillas for the tacos. Some cheese and then Eric is trying out this hot sauce. I think it was a pretty good grocery haul for this weekend. All right, so I'm gonna cook some chicken breasts real quick. Open up our chicken breasts here. Two chicken breasts that I'll be cooking. For seasoning, I'm just gonna be using salt, pepper. I've let the chicken breast come up to like room temperature. Same thing to the other side. Now we head over to the stove. Got a pan here going about medium. A little drizzle of olive oil. I'm gonna let that come up to temperature. I can see a little bit of smoke coming up now, so that means my oil is ready. Let's get these chicken breasts in. All right, as I cook the chicken. Oh. All right, you guys. Eric just set up the smoke <laughs> alarm in the house. Trying to cook chicken. Whoops. Did you already cook it? Which one is one off? I don't know. I was just gonna say that if you just put your video live, so make sure you check out the what's on this one. <laughs> oh yeah, I uh, just put my video live. <laughs> All right guys, so Julia just released part two of our West Palm Beach video. So if you haven't checked that one out, go check it out. It was a lot of fun. I think it was a great video. We've got a nice little crust going on there. Gonna let these sit five to 10 minutes, then we'll cut them up, put them in the salad. I'm gonna slice one of these up, and we're gonna throw it in with salad and have it for lunch.
I was Googling things to do in Galveston, Texas that are indoors because I don't know if you can tell, but it's a pretty windy day out and it's kind of cold. I did find the Moody Mansion, also known as Willis Moody Mansion, is a historic residential building in Galveston, Texas. The mansion was added to the National Register of Historic Places on May 13th, 1994. And it looks really cool from pictures that I've seen online. So let's go check it out. Well, that was pretty cool. The mansion was beautiful. I bought a magnet because as you all know, whenever I travel somewhere new, I always try to get a magnet and I don't know where else I would go in here in Galveston. Back in the Airbnb now, we've just been hanging out for a while and now we're going to make dinner. Dinner for tonight entails chicken breast I ate, cooked earlier, pasta, and this Mazetta pasta sauce. Julia like loves this company. The store actually had a bunch more flavors of it than we had in Dallas. So we bought like pasta sauce and like whole garlic sweet basil whatever we bought a whole bunch of these Mazetta sponsor me Thanks. I'm going to take this Parmigiano pasta sauce I'm gonna cut up the chicken breast in little bites cook the pasta put it all together and uh, make a little meal Eric made dinner and it looks so delicious, but I have an important job too. And that is pouring the wine. We got this Prophecy Rosé because I think the bottle looks really, really cool. All right, so we got a nice little dinner set up here, ready to eat, and we're going to watch The Trial of the Chicago 7. Thank you. I should have asked for it for no, like, I wow. can't tell. Well, till we get to the end. This bed is like almost as tall as me. <laughs> Luna, you blend in with the floor. It's like the same color as you. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Oh. And then the little cap gets to go. I guess not. <sighs> to me. Especially for Luna's first time to. Wow, it's like I forgot how to talk. <laughs> One for me. One for Luna. Look how Luna literally brought your socks up onto the bed. One for me. <laughs> One for Luna. Good morning, everyone. This is Julia from the future talking to you all. We're actually about to start packing up the Airbnb and getting the car ready to go to head back to Dallas. Overall, we've had a really positive experience with Airbnb, and I definitely think it's something that we will continue to utilize as we travel. There is part two of this video, so make sure that you guys stay tuned for that. So you get to watch Luna go to the beach for the very first time. And I think on the road trip back today, I'm going to read. I want to edit some YouTube videos and I want to continue practicing Spanish through Rosetta Stone, which reminds me, if you haven't already, make sure you check out that link in my description box below if you want to learn a new language as well. This has been a really fun trip and I'm already starting to plan my next one, so that's really exciting. Thank you everyone so much for watching and make sure that you stay tuned for part two.